everyone, Silver Joker here. Okay, so when will physical silver reach $50 an ounce? And what is the best bang for your buck with physical silver when silver skyrockets? Also, given the unprecedented demand for constitutional silver right now, would buying constitutional silver proofs be worth the premium? All right, so these are some of the questions I get asked a lot in the comments. So I went through and I picked out the more common ones, the one that I'm asked most often, and I'm going to attempt to answer them for you guys today. Also, I'm going to bring you up to date visually in my progress towards the goals I've set for myself for this year. So if you're interested in any of that, stick around. So let's get right into this. But first, just a real quick disclaimer. I got to do this. I am not a financial advisor. So what I'm giving you is not considered financial advice. I'm only going to share with you guys my experiences over the years of buying and stacking physical silver and talking to the people who are experts. And so I'm just going to give you my opinion based on those experiences. And that's all. So here's the first question. Oh, and by the way, what you're seeing in the background is the silver that I have accumulated so far this year towards my goal of 250 ounces of three nines fine silver and $200 face in constitutional silver. So this first question comes from a viewer named Mr. Bill EE4MR. <laughs> and so he writes, when will silver hit $50? Okay, so there's two ways to look at this. Uh, you can look at it from a point of view of how much does it cost you to buy it. Or you can look at it from the point of view of how much you can get for it when you sell it. So I'm going to assume that you're talking about how much you can get for it when you sell it. In my opinion, it's going to be a while for that. Because silver is gaining in value. Of course it is. It's gaining in value as we go along. But there are forces that are bent on keeping physical silver prices low. If you're talking about spot price, then I don't think we're going to see $50 spot price anytime soon. And there's a lot of reasons for that. But if, if you're talking about $50 price, then we're very close to that now. You know, Eagles are in the $40 range right now. Your constitutional silver, if you broke it down by ounce, we're in the $40 range on constitutional silver as well. And so we're really close in how much it costs us to accumulate physical silver, we're close to $50 now. I could be absolutely wrong about that, but just based on what I've seen through my stacking and talking to people that who have stacked for a lot longer than I have, who buy and sell physical silver, I don't believe $50 is, is imminent spot price. Okay, so this next question comes from a viewer named DC Irish 1213, and I'm almost certainly got that wrong. But anyway, he writes, in your opinion, what kind of silver is the best bang for your buck when it skyrockets? First off, DC Irish, I believe that the word skyrocket, when it comes to physical silver, is a loaded word. I don't believe that silver is going to, quote, skyrocket. Um, I believe silver is going to continue to grow in value as inflation grows and it costs more to produce that one ounce of silver than silver is naturally going to be worth more. So I think that's the trend. That's how silver is going to gain in value and price. But there is some precedent for silver skyrocketing. <laughs> An example would be early, I think, April 2011, when silver went to $40 an ounce and exceeded that spot price. So a lot of people sold a lot of silver then to take advantage of some profit from that. So if something like that were to occur, some unprecedented economic thing happened in our economy and, and it pushed silver up to $50 or above. I mean, $50 that I can get per ounce in my pocket for silver. I think I'll sell some of my silver bars first because I got them the cheapest. They are the most economical in my stack right now as far as generic silver goes. So that would be the only way that I would sell any of my silver prior to my plans for selling my silver in the future. 
So to answer your question, try to buy the silver that is the cheapest, the most economical for you to buy. That way, silver doesn't have to move all that much for you to realize some profit from buying it. All right, this next comment or question comes from a viewer named Lucky Winner 4396 and they write, hey, silver joke. Now listen, Lucky Winner, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and assume that that's a typo. So anyway, let's move on. What do you think about someone getting constitutional Franklin Silver proofs? Are they worth paying the premium or not? You know, I don't like average used coins. I prefer BU or as good of a condition as I can afford. All right, so if you follow my channel, you know that condition means very little for most of the silver in my stack. The way I plan to use my silver in the future, the condition is not gonna change the value one bit. Having said that, there is some silver in my stack where condition is everything. But this is what you gotta keep in mind when it comes to buying physical silver for condition, paying that premium for the condition. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And if you're stacking for numismatic purposes, if you're looking for things that's BU, if you're looking for things that are graded, if you're looking for things for the condition, you gotta keep in mind that whatever you're paying over that, whatever that premium you're paying, you have to expect to get that premium when you go to sell it. And in order to do that, you have to meet someone who has the same enthusiasm about that piece as you do. So if you bring me a Kennedy, that's BU or a proof. For me, that is going to be worth what constitutional silver is worth. So that's what I'd be willing to pay you for. it. I'm not willing to pay you for the fact that it's a proof in that premium. It doesn't matter to me. So if you have to make a profit on this piece that you're trying to sell due to the premium that you paid, then you have to find someone, an individual, a buyer that shares that enthusiasm, that shares that same sense of value that you place on this item beyond what the melt value is, beyond what the constitutional value is and that kind of thing based on their enthusiasm. So they may not feel the same way about that piece that you do. There are books out there that's got the price in there. They are lists, clubs, forums where there is an agreed upon value. People agree, yes, it's worth that. But you have to find somebody that's willing to pay that. Yeah, I believe a Lamborghini is worth half a million dollars all day. Of course it's worth that, but I'm not willing to pay that for it. <laughs> and so that's where you are when it comes to paying a premium for things that are BU or have numismatic value. But that's the chance you take when you pay a premium for something that's BU or a proof or something that's graded. So you can get some gain from that purchase, that premium. Now this last question comes from Timothy Whittington, 9316. And he writes, y'all be sure to stack dollar bills too, so as not to have to sell your stack too early. Now that is some very good advice and I'll tell you why. Physical silver is a long-term endeavor. If your stack ends up being an ATM or a checking account, you're stacking in the wrong direction. Do you have to sell your silver at a loss as soon as you stack it? So in my opinion, I would say, make sure you have some cash on hand or have some other financial contingency to where you use your silver as an absolute last resort to meet some financial burden that may arise. All right, so thank you for those questions. I appreciate that. And this is the uh, progress I've made so far. It's 192 ounces of three nines fine silver. And uh, my goal is 250 ounces by the end of the year. So I got a little ways to go. And I got $120 face value in constitutional silver. And that is $200 face value that I wanna have by the end of the year. So we're pretty close on both of those, but we're still going. We still got some progress to make because we got a whole half a year to go. So even if I reach some of those goals, I'm probably gonna to continue to stack silver because it's better to have more than you need than not enough. I mean, that's just my philosophy. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep the comments coming. They're all good. we pick the interesting ones or relevant ones or maybe what's going on around us and then we'll talk about them in the video. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Let's just keep the silver chain rolling. Keep stacking.
Peace.